you're watching this video, I just want to thank you for uh, joining us here at Keep Strong Values. One of the things that just happened today that's encouraged me on some levels is that we've received some of the initial uh, information that we need to get rolling. One of the things that's kind of made me feel antsy about it and know that we need to move a little faster, I just watched the uh, uh, breast cancer thing just turn over in favor of going back to Planned Parenthood. Someone who has worked in the community for 20 plus years and has interviewed and was working with a uh, pregnancy center and we did interviews, we found out that just in our own little community of Springfield when we were doing it that there was over 400 abortions performed every year. That's 400 children that we'll only see in heaven, that's 400 children that we uh, will only be able to uh, think about. And uh, as I watched that bit of news today, I made the decision that I'm absolutely 100% certain of the direction and the method that we need to go. I'm not mad at the people, I understand that there's a lot at stake for all this, but what's at stake if we put aside, and I'm not putting it aside in a wrongful manner, but if we put aside just how many children are aborted every year, but more importantly, we take what we see in that and we figure out how to work against that. Yesterday I shared some information about Sharia law banking and things like that. And it appears that many people just are not concerned or don't have the information or they don't think it interferes in their sphere. And, and I look at these children and I look at the pressure that was put on initially. They, uh, they announced that they were, weren't going to do any more business with Planned Parenthood and there was so much pressure including our own government began to put pressure on them. That, that's a frightening thing when our government pressures people, a nonprofit entity begins to put that kind of pressure on from leadership to cause people to change their minds. I say all that to say that Keep Strong Values I believe is going to be an integral piece to what we need to do in the future. Currently we have a website up, it's not where I want it to be. If you would be interested in more information you can contact me, you can send me an email, uh, go through the YouTube site. Where we're headed right now is we need to upgrade the website to handle the traffic that I believe that we're going to come up against and, and need to, to be able to manage. I look at what I see going on in the news day in and day out and quite honestly I know Jesus is Lord and I know that He's never going to leave me nor forsake me. But when it comes down to values it, our, our value system needs to begin to act out. It needs to be acted out in the workplace, in the school place. I, I just watched a horrendous video of children who couldn't even tell, and we're talking high schoolers, they couldn't even tell what the uh, two countries that touch on the United States are, Canada and Mexico. Bizarre answers, Europe and South America. So we look at that. So keep strong values. What do we do? We, we, we have to get the website better than what it is to handle the traffic. We need to be willing to go out and seek out people that are business people who are Christians, business people who are conservative, business people who care about local uh, values and local business and recognize it begins here in the community. And we need to look at the family values. As I shared the story about the uh, run, for, uh, run for breast cancer, organization, the Coleman organization, that definitely affects our family values. It affects our families. It affects our response to all these things. Um, as one who had a child who was born prematurely and weighed slightly over a pound at her time of birth, I know that children can live through difficult, difficult circumstances. So what does that mean for Keep Strong Values? Well, here's my plan. My plan is I want to get the website done. And honestly, I, I need finance to do that. I'd ask you to pray. Uh, I have a short prospectus slash business plan that's available if you're interested. Uh, the next step is to get that taken care of, and then we need to go out, and I'm going to devote myself to the marketing and the, and, and, and the propagation of this website. I'm going to find conservative business owners. I'm going to find Christian business owners. I'm going to find business owners who care about the value uh, of their local community. I'm going to find people who are, care about uh, families 
and, and, and the integrity of the family unit. And with that, we're going to move ahead. Why do I think this is important? I think it's important that who we are, we need to gather and we need to group together. And we need to begin to take our money out of the things that work against our values. We have an ice cream manufacturer up here in Vermont. Many of you know it. Quite honestly, every time we spend money with them, we're, we're propagating values that work against the values that we at Keep Strong Values work at. I'm not suggesting you should protest. I'm, I'm not about protest. I'm not about boycott. Do I think those are valid statements? Absolutely. That's not where I'm at. Um, I think we need to take our money out of the places that don't benefit us. I think we need to be more careful about what we do. I think we need to work with integrity toward the goal. I'm fairly certain that as we move ahead, there's going to be some pretty big players that are going to come against us, and I'm pretty certain there's going to be some pretty big players. I've already been notified by some that want to come on board. Our website cannot handle that right now. If you want to know how much we need, we need at least three to five thousand dollars to get the initial stages done and get the website into play. We need an additional ten thousand dollars to begin to do our marketing, and we need an additional ten thousand dollars on top of that. We're looking at twenty-five thousand dollars probably, but right now we need three thousand to five thousand dollars to get into play, and then our website can handle the traffic. It'll it'll be clean, neat, and able to operate the way it's supposed to. If you're watching this video and this intrigues you, uh, I hope you'll you'll contact us. I hope you'll take the time to contact us at keepstrongvalues.com. You'll contact us through YouTube, Facebook, whatever it is. But I hope that you will do this because I believe it's important to the coming days. So many are preaching doom and gloom. I'm not a doom and gloomer. I think we're headed for some difficult times, but I don't think they're forever difficult times. I'm committed to the process of shaping my family, my community, my, my state, and my nation. And I ask you to join me. I ask you to join what we're doing. And uh, let me know what you think. Thanks and God bless you.